here on the train trestle in Seaside, Croatia, above the nest. 2012, we've had a dream, a vision, to see a baseball field, an actual baseball field, one of only three in the entire country of Croatia. We're excited about all that God's been doing. This year, we're going to actually be having four teams, Croatia, Lithuania, Slovenia, and Poland playing for the uh, National Qualifier Tournament for Europe. And uh, we're excited about what God has in store. Every night, we'll be doing a Field of Faith Evangelistic Outreach. Salim Kalaz will be here to share the faith, share his faith, his testimony. Several will be sharing his testimony. Josh Hamilton will be sharing his testimony on DVD. He did especially for this event uh, to thank the Seasock Storks to express his love for Christ, his love for God, his love for baseball. And uh, we're also going to have a, a famous uh, Croatian rock band called, Christian rock band called October Light to come here uh, to play on Thursday night. And so we're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of music, a lot of praising. God for all he's done, for all he will do, and we're praying for open hearts, open minds, that the harvest will be ripe and ready. We thank you, thank you for everybody for their support to see what has come uh, about. Uh, it brings me to tears uh, to see the field of weeds, to a field of dreams, and now to a field of faith. God bless you all. Appreciate all your support. Take care. Remember, Jesus loves you, so do I. Our steps, his prayer. Think you should get off. What do you think of Seesaw there, Brandon? Odlicno. Odlicno. This is the best place. Look at this field. Second Just, to split, of course. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, this will work. Yeah. Storks. Great guys. Yeah. Great group of guys. Great field. Great vision. Great dream. Now reality. Three other nations on the field today. Looking forward to sharing the faith tonight. Amen. Beautiful day. Perfect weather. The day the Lord has made. In the cloud and sky. This is Coach Daniel, and I've known Coach Daniel now seven years, and uh, it's been a blessing. <laughs> He's my brother. What does this field mean to you, Coach? Seven uh, wonderful years are behind us. Seven years they changed a lot of lives. After seven years, sir, our dream is fulfilled. That now we have a baseball field. There's a lot of things that changed in my life after I met David and his team. After a long years of having a, a lot of sickness problem with my health. And I know what it means to have God's help on my side. It's just not proof that God always helps. I'm thankful to God and David and all of you wonderful people that help us to have this amazing field. I want everybody a, a lot of God blessings to all of you. Amen. And I hope we'll meet again on this field and have a joy in our hearts together once again. Amen. Coach, you've been a coach of the uh, Storks since what, 90, 19? Been a long time uh, playing on soccer fields and on cement uh, parking lots. <laughs> now the dream has become a reality. Amen. Thank you for allowing us to come and share. No. Armin, why don't you get a chance to share what, what this baseball field means to you? Yeah, this field means a lot. Now we, have, now we have our own field. We're not on the soccer field anymore. <laughs> Amen. It finally closed and 70% of work is even more done. Now we can practice even more. So we can be better, better football players. Amen. Yeah, we're joyful and thankful for help.
Super. Thank you, Armin. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell. This is Alan Mahach. Alan's been on the Storks for how long, Alan? How long you been on the Storks? Ten years. Ten years. Um, I've known Alan now for uh, seven. Yeah. What does uh, this field mean to you? This field means a lot to me. And it's a big opportunity to play on that field because we built that field from nothing. And thank you all of guys for what you did for us and uh, for all your, all your life, love. And uh, hello, from Jesus Christ, what you share with us. I really don't know how to thank you because what you did for us is very big. Thank you. Amen. What did you think of Josh Hamilton? That was pretty incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty incredible. To hear him talk about the Sea Sox Storks. Yeah, pretty incredible. <laughs> Amen. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll get him here. <laughs> Thank you, Mahat. This is this. Yeah, in English would be great. This is Dolly Bar. Dolly Bar has been a member of the Storks since 1993. So he's one of the original, first generation, one of the originals. Dolly Bar, want you to say to the folks back home what this field means to you. Oh, it means first my life, and I'm. Too happy. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't have words to say what does to me me means to you. Yeah. Means to this field. Super. First life and then everything. Amen. Thank you. What did you think of? Were you here when Josh Hamilton got a chance to give his testimony? Uh, or when when we did the yes, yeah. This is, uh, Him talking about the yes, storks. Yes. <laughs> Wait, Storks I, are I becoming world I, renowned. I don't believe it that some player uh, in MLB uh, talking about C6 stores. Who knows for C6 stores? <laughs> Amen. Thank Amen. you, brother. Amen. <laughs> uh, this is Nevin. Many of you know Nevin. That's Leo up there on top on the <laughs> next generation nice of the Storks. But hey, look at him wave. Don't hit him in the head. <laughs> uh, Nevin came to fellowship a uh, uh, year or so twice, I guess. Once with Maya, and then uh, again with the Storks uh, last March, or a, mar a week, ago, a month ago, Mar, or a year ago, March. Uh, Nevin, uh, can you tell uh, in words what uh, this field means to you? Well, this field is a dream come true, actually. 18 years. It, it took us 18 years to come from uh, just starting the club to actually have to own and have a baseball field. So. Uh, I know. I know probably I'm not going to play here long, I hope Leo will play longer than I am, <laughs> but it's, it's really a dream come true. Since I know all of you guys have been watching through videos and pictures how this field used to look and how it looks now and it's largely thanks to you guys. So I want to use this chance to speak for myself, my teammates, my, my family, and thank you guys for 1,000 and so many times for helping us do this. Amen. Amen. And uh, the opportunity to uh, bring the next generation, that's one of the things we've always been talking about. Uh, it's not a field that just lasts for today, but it's a field that'll be here. Went from weeds to dreams to faith, and now we just pray that it'll not only bring kids to the name, know the game of baseball, but also to glorify God. Dalibor has three. I got two, so <laughs> we have half a team is here already. So. Amen. Hopefully, we'll spread it outside the family. <laughs> this is Igor. Uh, Igor has been on the team. How long, Igor? How long have you been on the Storks? Ten. Ten years. Ten years. Um, now is going to school and finishing up your masters, right? Yeah, I'm done. In what? What area? Economics. Economics. Marketing. Congratulations on that. So, what? Tell me a little bit about what this field means to you. Uh, it means everything because we had nothing and now we have everything <laughs> because we can train, work, and we can we can spend time together and talk about everything, watch movies, play games, doing stuff that we can do all the time. So it means everything to us. So uh, we are very happy. we are very happy because of the field and because of us and you that help us 
do the field and uh, the old guys in America who help us. Mm. I won't say the names because there's a lot of people, <laughs> but yeah. uh, I'll just say thank you for everything you've done and uh, it's great. It's great. What did you think of uh, Josh Hamilton and his testimony? Yeah, it was great uh, to, because our guys, uh, ah, he was talking about uh, his testimony and uh, the feel of his game and uh, how, how he had some problems that some of the guys had and uh, it was good, it was good. Mm -hmm. And he was actually talking to the storks saying hello. Yeah, he said storks, <laughs> he's like storks three times and it was great. <laughs> so, Amen. Thank you Igor. Thank Josh it. and thank you Dave. Uh -huh. This is Mario, Super Mario we like to call him. He's a uh, super arm because he can pitch every day, <laughs> twice on Sunday. Uh, so, Jeff, uh, how long have you been, uh, been a part of the team? Uh, I'm part of the team with eight years and I'm so proud. I want to say thank you God for this field and thank you guys really like come every year to Croatia and help us, give us money, all the nations. I just want to say thank you so much for this and that means to me really, really much and on this field, I can see, I can say on the nest, I really, I met Jesus and uh, I really want to say thank you everybody, amen. Amen. What do you think of Josh Hamilton? I mean, that, that, was incredible, that was a incredible experience for me and I was so excited about that and uh, I'm still excited about uh, you know, meet more players like Andy Petit, Lance Berkman and I just want to say Thank you, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing him talk about the Storks was pretty incredible. Yeah. Very humbling. <laughs> you know what? Who knows? Maybe one day we'll get him here. I hope so. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thanks. Whenever you're ready. Hey, Joseph. Joseph's uh, been a member of the Storks for how many years now, Joseph? It's, I don't know. Who? 10, 15? I've coming here seven years. Yeah. And I'm here for 10 more, maybe okay. more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He uh, is number five, and he plays uh, outfield and first base. And yeah, play with him. <laughs> loves the game. What does this field mean to you, Joseph? I don't know. It, we gave everything in this field, and we used to play on an old soccer field, and didn't have almost anything. And these seven years changed so much, almost everything. And I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but we we really appreciate the help from uh, from America and. Uh, uh, I don't know what else to say, but... Uh, That's enough, you can tell, from your eyes and your heart. As uh, Stefan says, you know, the heartbeat says more than even words can. Yeah, <laughs> the action shows more than words. Yes, and amen. We, 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 in, I, don't, I don't know what to say, this is a very huge thing and... Uh, amen. Uh, I don't know, it means a world to us. Amen. It's Thank not, you, brother. I hope that's enough. I oh, yeah. Know. It is. Perfect. So, same question. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, Mar this is Martin. Yeah. Martin's been on the team since the first it started, right? 1993? 94. And uh, he's been a part of the Storks since that time. And Martin, why don't you share what this field means to you? Hello, everybody. I'll translate. Yeah, yeah welcome. Put you. We started. Oh, <laughs> back there in the corner, yeah. we can't even see it now. Scoop a lot to say. We were collecting balls, baseballs. Yeah, these were Himali. These were Himali. Because we didn't ha have them. Nah. Portugal, Italia. Reci. We went and we just keep going and playing. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of support. Yeah. Until missionaries like JD and David and whole group showed up. You guys helped us little by little, step by step, in, in everything. Yeah, we came to the moment when this field means a lot to, to us. But also a lot to all these kids here. Amen.
Super. I naravno da ni njega jebi, to je ne bilo ni, ni pola toga. Yeah. And of course with uh, you guys, we got you guys help and uh, coach David. Uh, if Tuesday has a fire, there wouldn't be a lot of this. Yeah. It, it means everything. Yeah. Amen. Hello. No stop some on you. We're, we're here day and night. And we hope the younger boys will continue and do what we did. Amen. And keep, continue and keep in touch with you guys as well. Amen. Well, you know what? Martin will never die, so he will always be here in spirit. And when he does die, I hope he's playing baseball with me in heaven. <laughs> no? Yeah. Hey, uh... Uh, why don't you share with uh, the people back in Texas and back home what this field means to you? Hello, everybody, family, <laughs> friends. Yeah, um, well, it's um, choke here. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it, I've been playing baseball since I was 14, I guess. High school, fourth grade, about the age when these kids were playing and. Um, at that moment when I remember playing, we played on the concrete streets, played on a field that was soccer field, uh, had about 10 balls and nine gloves. <laughs> That's how many players there were, but uh, one year we had a, we knew that one year that dream will come true and that uh, when it happens, that it will be awesome. And, well, then when that day came, it's all come close to music is loud. <laughs> <clears throat> Just the, the feeling is, it, it can't be describable when you reach something that you wanted it, that you wanted to see happen, when your need is fulfilled, that you want to see a field of, um, a baseball field with full diamond. And so what it means, to me, it means that, um, that God knew what I love and that he knows that I love baseball and that's that not that he just gave me or the other players a, a gift of playing ball, the, a gift of you guys coming and Coach David and so many other missionaries. Um, but also to have chance to do what I love and because I receive, then I know that it's, it's for me to pass to someone else. So what I see here, it's a vision. It's not a one day thing, one year thing, one championship, European championship. So in about 40 years or 50 years, I guess, I don't even know. Well, let's say shorter, <laughs> 30 years, I hope I'll be coaching with some of my players, you know, the kids this age, and we'll be able to uh, continue to share what God did today, and we'll continue doing it tomorrow because I think that's what, why he built this day. And so one day we can all play ball together.